Hey everybody, welcome back to your Bella Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, how about clicking that subscribe button? <laughs> to you guys and this is possibly like the worst video that it could happen to because one of the longest ones uh because i know i talk a lot but before i officially start doing the rankings just know that on this timeline it's possibly going to be a little bit different from when i'm saying it over here just because over here is with what was recorded when I did it, and I didn't want to re-record this part over here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go on. I'm gonna hit play on my own with uh, Rose World Tour. Um, honestly, I was very disappointed in the sequel. I really love part one, and mind you, when I went into the first part, I really went in not expecting anything and was really like blown away. So when I went into the sequel, I was expecting to be blown away, and I was very, very much let down. So I am only just gonna put this in the four kids section it's actually the only movie on my list that i have a review on so i'll link that down below if you guys want to hear more of what i uh, have to say about it uh, so moving right along to the next one it's going to be extraction uh with chris hemsworth um now this one right here you guys may not agree with where i'm putting it i know a lot of people really were enjoying the movie and have it higher up on their list it's not as far down as i may maybe making it seem but uh, for me, if I really went into this one expecting like to be blown away, mind you. I know it does have like that 15, 20 minute like full blast like action sequence that makes that it's actually really, really good and really, really badass. I know the intention on that is to make it seem like it's one take. Um, I didn't get that from it. Um, unlike 1917, which I absolutely love that movie, that I can see as being one take, you know. But this one, for me personally, I didn't see the one take deal. Um, this is a movie that is being compared a lot to um, uh, John Wick. I personally don't really see it. Like when I started um, seeing uh, other people talking about it and they were making those two comparisons, I was just like, um, not really. I mean, I get it because of the stunts and everything. Uh, the director... For this movie is a stunt, chore uh, stunt choreographer I don't think that's the right word for it but anyway he's a director for this one and he's a freaking like badass um, kind of director because he's been literally I don't know if you guys have seen the um I, am i talking too fast i feel myself talking too fast i'm sorry um if you've seen photos like on instagrams where i've seen them um he's actually like tied up you know will harness on to like the car while they're doing like all these chasing like he's literally there being the camera person and that's freaking like awesome i want to point something out for my fragile people um i personally did not get offended by anything that happened in the movie but i'm not like a fragile person but i know that uh for the karens in the world that are gonna be like oh my god i can't believe that they did this but there is uh quite a bit of like child abuse um in the way of they recruit them to join the army there's literally this one time when the bad guy literally just like threw the kid off the roof and i know that's like a spoiler but like i was just like what what like i was thinking it was gonna be more of those when it was happening oh it's just I'm gonna scare you kid I'm gonna just like dangle your feet but no he literally went and like just threw him off the damn roof um so yeah so there are kids you know holding guns the little flashback that they were doing for Chris's uh character and the way that they wanted us to feel like sympathy for him I mean I know that he went through a loss and they want you to have this feeling for him but honestly I don't personally feel like it really did anything for the movie you know we had this sentimental scene but i'm just like mm, like i could have done without it like that that movie could have been a little bit shorter for me it felt a little bit too long because again i i just wasn't really into it i was actually dozing up even though it's an action-packed movie you guys and i need to stop watching movies on friday well i say that but the movie that i saw yesterday is actually a like here type of movie there's no up and downs and it, i was really focused on it throughout the whole thing but like extraction there's a moment where I kind of closed my eyes and, and I was like, oh, wait, hold on. What, what's happening here? You know, so coming up next is uh, Coffee and Kareem. That is a forgettable movie, honestly. I mean, I did laugh in the movie. It didn't quite hit the humor mark for me. Uh, I mean, I love like scary movie Keanu. Like that's kind of my type of like humor. I, re I really enjoy it. And I know it's not for everybody, but... <sighs> 
quite honestly i forgot i saw the damn movie i when i was looking back at my list i went oh Oh, you're, you're from this month. Oh, okay. I totally forgot about you. Um, it does have Taraji P. Henson, which I absolutely adore her. Ed Helms comes on it. You would expect for this movie to have been a, a funny movie. Uh, up next would be The Willoughby's. Uh, this movie, actually, I found it to be really, really good. I really enjoyed it. I don't think it's for little kids because it's a little bit too on the darker side. I mean, these kids literally want to become orphans. So they literally send off their parents to get murdered. Like they send them on this like wild excursion thinking, okay, well if they don't die here, they're gonna do this, they're gonna die here. So they're literally like plotting murder. But it's not like in a super, super dark way. And in their defense, their parents are absolutely terrible people um, in the way of they're just neglected. Uh, they really are. They don't, they just have this love for each other and they don't want to give it to the kids. And literally the the wife just like pops out the baby and is like, oh, what 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 is that? Like, how did this happen? And as soon as the kid is born, they just like, the dad drags them out into the like hallway and is like, you're on your own. Your name is so-and-so. Um, they end up having four kids that the, the younger ones are twins. And where they um, and where they don't even want to be bothered to naming two kids, they literally named both of them Barnaby. I'm just like, oh, okay, I gotcha. This demonic like baby, it's not a demonic baby, but it's just like on speed or something. And there was this funny scene when um, the baby ends up getting in front of the parents, and they're like, oh my god. Why does this keep happening? I just thought that was just so funny um, that they're just like, wait a minute, where do these kids keep coming from? I feel like this may go more towards like preteen, teenagers, um, and into like adulthood, especially if you are into um, animated movies. Like I am a kid at heart. Now this one I really did enjoy. This kind of falls in a way with like Nightmare Before Christmas, Corpse Bride, Coraline. Coraline I just saw like last year, guys, and I was like, oh my god. Oh, this is so scary and twisty this is literally like least of it but i would kind of categorize it with it but this one is definitely like the like they're all like brothers and sisters or whatever and the willoughby's is more like a cousin uh because it is more of a little brighter stuff to it they're not as dark as its other bunch but i feel like they still could be related if that makes sense i hope so given the quarantine time unless you live in texas and you know because everything here is opening up oh my god you guys please be safe like i would uh kind of hold off on making this into like a family night movie or so if your child is a little bit cuckoo and you know has maybe like ee -ee -ee tendencies because you know we don't want them to get any ideas um from this movie of maybe we're better off if we're just orphans kind of deal because that's kind of where the mindset is of the movie is like you know our parents are not great even though you may be a perfect parent but to them to your child maybe you're not the perfect parent and they're probably like you know what let's get rid of the parents and we're just gonna be orphans and we're gonna be living our best life uh as best as we can right so maybe just kind of hold off until society gets back to normal uh because you know we don't want any kind of accidents we don't need them to like send you off into this like wild crazy ass excursion um to to get murdered you know especially if your kid has maybe like a screw missing sure did go there let's go ahead and move on to love wedding repeat and i think this movie is actually a really good movie it's possibly not everybody's cup of tea because it is a romantic comedy a very cheesy romantic predictable comedy deal now i'm not like huge on romantic movie that's kind of like the least favorite of my stuff but i feel like this movie actually did it really good uh there is a lot of really nice humor to it the story of the many possibilities that can happen depending on where you sit what you drink um i feel like the cast was great i really enjoyed everything from it uh the ending also i i really liked it the, the way that it ended it again predictable possibly one of my favorite romantic comedies of 2020 actually i don't think i've really seen any more any other romantic comedies this year have there been i don't know i really if they have i if i have i, I don't remember it would be live twice loved ones or vivir dos veces um this is 
I, 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 it's a wow. I'm gonna put it under wow. I, this is gonna be kind of like what I said last month with uh, the occupant and with a uh, platform. If you do speak Spanish, well, if you do understand Spanish, um, I would recommend for you to watch this movie in Spanish. Um, I do not know who gets these like voiceover English actors. I do not like them. They're very distracting. If you don't understand uh, Spanish and you're watching this in English, what do you guys think about the voiceovers for this one, the Occupant platform? Do you guys like, I mean, I know that there's really nothing you guys can do, but like, what do you think about those, that voiceover? Because I personally don't. I, um, and we read those messages. Uh, we do follow Emilio. Um, he is somebody who just recently got, uh, gets diagnosed with Alzheimer's. This journey of him trying to accept Plus, we do get little like flashes into his past about a long lost uh, love. That he's very, very hard headed. He does, of course, he doesn't want to accept that he's going to at some point, sooner rather than later, you know, going to forget everything. He's going to forget who he is. He's actually in the movie because yeah, I know there had to be one. If you have been with me for a while, and if you guys are new, just know that I am a crier, and this is the movie that made me cry in the month of April. Like really, like sobbing tears it's such a beautiful movie you guys the ending was great it was unexpected in a way because the um you go into it you know what's going with the situation and you're kind of expecting one thing i honestly was expecting a different sort of outcome early on we went on into trying to find this woman i honestly thought something different that went went on but the final result of how it happened, it's just, oh, uh, that's it made me cry. And that final shot, you guys, was absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to say exactly how it is, but just, it's just this really, like, calming, beautiful shot. <laughs> I don't even know how else. I totally recommend for you guys to see uh, Vivi de los Besos or uh uh, live twice love once a uh, final movie on my list would be tiger tail um this is a foreign movie and it does have subtitles so i know off the bat this is not going to be uh a lot of people's cup of tea because people do not like to you know sometimes read i'm gonna follow my little template that i have here i'm gonna put it in the wow you guys so it's gonna stay there on good for now but trust me it's gonna end up going into wow so this movie is about a man who's trying to reconcile with his a daughter who they just do not have any kind of relationship they don't know how to talk to each other but we also kind of go we go back from to the past and the future so we we start off like in the 50s when he is i don't know maybe like in his 20s or so and we just kind of go decade to decade on how his life turned out to the point where he is now he was very like outgoing very outspoken more fun but because of the sacrifices that he had to let go of and leave back in taiwan to come to america for the american dream it's a really great story you guys i i really really encourage you to see this movie i know it does have subtitles but i think it's totally worth it it's more of a here kind of story. This is the one that I was talking about when I was uh, mentioning extraction. That this one actually kept me like alert. And did you guys see this month? Did you see any of the movies that I saw? What do you guys think about them? How did you guys rank them? All that I have for you guys today. Uh, guys be safe out there. Don't be stupid. Oh my god. I'm going to say it. Don't be stupid. Don't be crazy. Be safe. Wear your mask. Wear some gloves. Take your hand sanitizer. Take... To freaking bottle of life saw life saw everything um don't be don't be trying to rush off to parties don't be like my dumbass neighbors i see y'all just because again everything's open does not mean that corona has decided to hey let me let me back out because people are coming back no no they're gonna be like oh people let me let me let me get up closer to you no so be careful be safe don't forget to look, give this video a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified to when i post something new and until everything clears out and opens up in a safely manner i'll see you guys in concession bye